Hello everyone, I am Rohit. I, on behalf of Sri Aurobindo Society, would like to welcome all the teachers to one of the most successful and innovative idea sharing platforms of India, ZIIEI. Here we will be discussing about new and innovative techniques for the different lessons or from our chapters. In short, how to make the whole process of learning interesting and fun for the kids. The chapter that I'll be covering today is from class 5 and CRT board. The name of the subject is Environmental Studies and the lesson is Seeds from Seeds. The idea and innovation that I'll be covering today, that I'll be using today, is called Concept Mapping. The main innovation behind this idea is to how to enhance the learning of the students through inquiry based and how to make the chapters more uh, uh, more in a chronological order through flowcharts. The main concepts, the main ideas that I'll be discussing um, today under this chapter will be various, various types of seeds, different properties of seeds, different plants, how can we grow plants from the seeds, wandering of seeds and different vegetables from different countries. And we before taking this lesson, we divide while taking this lesson, while they are covering this chapter, we divide the whole session into different periods. In the first period, we focus on the different properties of seeds and how plants are grown from seeds. For starting this, we need to make some pre-arrangements, like we have to take four empty bowls, four leaves, and some grams, chanas, whole, whole grams and split grams. First of all, we tell the students the importance of chana, how we consume it pre in a pre-cooking pre process, how we need to soak it, what is the importance of soaking. Then we place chanas in all the four bowls. In the first bowl, we place water along with it. In the second bowl, we place one damp cloth, wet cloth along with the chana. In the, in the third one, we just place the chana without any water or damp cloth. In the fourth one, we place split grounds with water with damp cloth sorry then we let the students to observe second uh, for explaining the properties of um, the seeds and different properties of seeds and uh, how plants are grown we do we make the students do one activity for that we need to make some pre-arrangement we we take some cups empty plastic cups paper cups we need some soil and different seeds different cumin seeds and different different seeds, different varieties of seeds. Now uh, before uh, before going to the experiment, we also explain to the kids how uh, how the um, the chanas soak the water, why, the, why, why is it so important for that one. Next while doing this experiment, we divide the kids in different groups and we give them different cups. We teach them how to put soil into it, how to make a hole below it and how and ask them to put different seeds in the different cups. And we let them and, and we ask them to do some observations. And in the observations, say there will be some questions like uh, uh, how long did the plant to, to grow? Were the plants of equal heights? Did all the seeds, uh, seeds turn into uh, plants? And how long did you water the plant? And so on and on. Next, while explaining about the watering of uh, seeds, how the seeds from different places come. To another place like uh, suppose um, the chili the chili is from is not from India it's from other place and how the chili came to India for explaining those things we take the help of picture and videos we explain to the kids that uh, all the plants are not grown in uh, one place it it moves from one place to another through different means and these are called wandering seeds like uh, there are different means like uh, it either gets stick or to the fur of the animals, or maybe it gets transmitted from by people also. This way, we continue with the chapter. We make the students understand the different properties, the different features of seeds. How important is it? And and while making the lesson, we make it a point to write the, all the concepts in a chronological order, map out everything, so that the students can easily grab the chapter. And there are different benefits of this uh, by teaching this way. The students can improve their critical thinking in the decision making process. They become more aware towards the nature also. That's all for this video. If you like this video, please do like, share and subscribe to our channel. Z-I-I-E-I. -I -I. Thank you so much.